Hello everyone, Crack here. Subscribe by the way and like and other stuff because I know you don't. So if I'm saying it right now, you're probably gonna uh, at least think of it, okay? And watch the full video, okay? So do that. So, um, as you might know, yesterday I, or depending when I'm posting this, uh, when the chapter 52 of Boruto got released, I made the live watching the um, reacting basically to the chapter and um, then i did a stream where i talked about mostly naruto and how strong he is and uh, that was a whole thing right and i said i'm gonna make a video about it but unfortunately if i want to make this video as quick as i will do it it will not have a lot of editing it would have like small amount of editing but um uh, check my other content if you want sh stuff that has editing right so how strong is naruto right and how strong is this new form of his so this is actually not even i don't think it's even controversial controversial to say but like this is the strongest character in naruto Yes, Naruto is the strongest character in Naruto. Who would have thought? I know, controversial opinion. It's crazy. Because... Look at the facts. Ishiki is the strongest character in general. It's implied and even stated and even uh, everyone treats him as the most powerful character. Kaguya couldn't even defeat him 1v1. Uh, she actually needed... Um, needed to like catch him by surprise or something to defeat him and she was also ro loyal uh sorry lower rank ranked than her so yeah uh, overall in general he is the strongest character we saw up until naruto got his new form which the new form by the way it's pretty epic. Uh, this new form of Naruto is able to not only fight Ishiki, but basically destroy him and beat him severely. Like uh, he basically destroyed this dude. Like he he handled this dude. He he did him dirty. He destroyed his ass cheeks. He did whatever you want. He he destroyed. Okay, he destroyed Ishiki. Ishiki Otsutsuki got destroyed in this debate by Ben Shapiro and Naruto Uzumaki. There's no question about it. So he's the strongest character in Naruto. What does that mean, essentially, for out-verse, like, uh, you know, other verses, if they fight against Naruto, right? Like, if you have now Ichigo or Goku versus Naruto, uh, does anything change? And I would say... Uh, not really. Ishiki, while he was way stronger than Naruto and Sasuke beforehand, he wasn't like, like, immensely to the point that you can't even compare them in any context, right? So Naruto being this strong, while it's way strong, while he's way stronger than what he was before, he's not like jumped like a thousand times in terms of strength. You know, I would say he did jump like uh, around five to maybe even ten times arbitrary scaling obviously so what does that mean in terms of like overall scaling i would say that still i, I still hold this opinion um if you want to say that kurama can destroy the planet right because even half of kcm naruto was able to tank a moon level attack and also the data book states that Kurama can destroy the planet. There's also some Shirama and Madara and Ten Tails statements in some guides or promotional material which say that those uh, characters can destroy the planet or turn the planet to ashes or whatever. You know? So you would argue that at least KCM2 Naruto should be around planet level and because Kaguya, for example, was able to basically destroy a dimension which had a sun in it she would be like solar system level right and because of that naruto who is now the strongest in the series would make sense to be 
uh, at least above solar system level, especially since you would scale him to planet level only in KCM2, right? Well, as I said in a different video, you can still scale him to like universal or some shit, just because, uh, well, uh, just just because. <laughs> no, um, you can scale him to universal because, as I said, um, Kaguya's dimension is actually stated to be parallel, so is Momoshiki's. Uh, it's stated that Momoshiki and Kaguya created those dimensions and they are able to destroy them. So overall, in general, if you want a highball Naruto, you can argue he's like um, universal level, maybe. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Crack out. Bye. This new scaling for Naruto is basically he's the strongest character. Naruto is right now yeah. is the strongest character there ever was in Naruto, maybe except some fillers that I'm aware of, Are but you're you definitely serious? not. So there's no really problem. So uh, what Naruto did was like Finally, uh, let's do this Naruto scaling. He uh. what Naruto did is like um he Kurama explains that he and Kurama united their powers, their chakra, which uh, some people think that that means that oh only it's only Kurama chakra plus Naruto's chakra, but Naruto's chakra it's also Crack. the six paths chakra. Um so basically cuz he has it inside him. Oh my god. Adult Naruto so versus adult Sasuke. Well, I, right? I don't think about it like that. You got a pretty twisted mind. <laughs> Shut up. So basically he he all the chakra that Naruto has, he combined it instead of like uh, no, instead, actually, instead of combining it, he fused it into one, which made it way stronger. And um, for people who say, well, Sasuke, is Sasuke even comparable to him? The answer is no. So no. what we saw, <laughs> not only that Sasuke says that he, 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 get, he would get, I mean, he, he's like surprised. He's like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, but Sasuke, Sasuke was getting clapped like the last chapter by Ishiki, zero problem. Like he was getting blitzed with no, no difficulty. And this this chapter, Ishiki got fucked up by Naruto hard. Like Ishiki is stronger than Momoshiki from what we saw. He's stronger than Kaguya. Sick Itachi is He's moon level. And if they went one v one, sick versus old heroes, and Itachi should win. Ido versus Prime Ido would win. Hello. Uh, uh, yeah, no, because I have to speak. Sometimes some some people will say something, and I have to hear it. Um, so fuck, what was I saying? <laughs> Um, uh, Ishiki is stronger than Momoshiki. Oh yeah, yeah. He, Ishiki is stronger than Momoshiki, he's stronger than Kaguya, he's stronger than any motherfucker we saw so far. Uh, Urashiki, uh, what, I mean, not according to that one statement, you know, when it says Urashiki is the strongest, but whatever. What crack are you gay <laughs> for, Ketsi? Um, you know, it's really real funny though, when, uh, did you pick up any coal? I don't know what, what do you, leave me alone, I'm scared. Wait. Can you, you pick up any coal? Why are you even down here? Why don't you go get some wood? Again. I'm, I'm, but, oh, okay, I'll go, go get wood. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, so Naruto just destroyed this, this dude, Ishiki. Not only that he destroyed him, he basically, uh, I guess because, okay, so how to, Kurama describes it is basically, uh, it's like nuclear fusion or something, which, uh, nuclear fusion for people who don't know, it's like, like, like very ra radio <laughs> shut the fuck up please it's uh, radioactive <laughs> right so what i think happened is that because of the, it doesn't matter that it's made of chakra and this is not made of like whatever the fuck f nuclear fusion is made of some chemicals that I'm, I'm i don't know how to pronounce their names uh i think it's still radioactive and it kills the person so what he did is actually was well also he was beating the shit out of ishiki he actually poisoned him as well that's why um, that's why he was so so glad that even if he dies, Kishiki's body was gonna die because of the poison. It's like what Meru. I said it in in the stream while I was reading the chapter. It's like what Meruem did against uh, no Meru. Netero did against Meruem um, in Hunter Hunter, right? When uh, Netero like exploded himself with the nuke, but also the poison in the nuke or the uh, I guess the ra radioactivity or whatever the fuck you want to interpret it that. Uh, the poison quote unquote being uh, killed Meruem after even if he got revived the same is with Ishiki this body will will just be destroyed but because we see Kawaki at the end of the Naruto's ep new form is street level um because fuck because we see um at Kawaki best. at the end of the chapter is probably gonna he's probably gonna fucking survive Ishiki he's gonna uh, give uh, his karma to Ka Kawaki and fucking that's about it he's gonna come back later and Naruto died for literally nothing, which is pretty sad. <laughs> Unless he didn't I die actually, or some shit. 
I Shut think, the fuck okay, up, one, anime boy. Like, These like, trolls nowadays, MOG sleeping. But Sasuke doesn't get his whenever rebirth and bring him back. Um, but that would happen like later. I mean, like years after, because we know Boruto has like a time skip. I I think um, Kawaki, like he's gonna get Kawaki's body as a vessel, and we're gonna get like a, we're gonna get this sense of like, um, Ichigi actually like leaves for a minute. He has to like get his strength and all that, and like the village has this like I don't know five years of peace where they can like do whatever the fuck they want, train for him, and everybody gets ready and strong. And then Kishimoto and, actually writes and, the chapter manga, so it's not yeah. as bad. For people yeah. who don't know, and, though and I wonder... Crack, uh, you suck. I, I doubt... I know I suck. Though I doubt people don't know this, but actually um, Kishimoto came back to write the manga. So from like this chapter onwards, Crack I think... Natsu versus Luffy. I think he's actually gonna read... Then I read. Go fuck. away. Um, right. uh, write the fucking... <laughs> the manga. So uh, it's gonna get better, I I hope. But the art is still trash, so. Please fire Yukimo! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, fire him. No, but Loki, like... I'd rather take stick figures that say Naruto and like Jigen, right? And they still like showing they punch each other, so like actually interpret. Whoa, okay, Naruto just punched Jigen. Oh my, Naruto punched Jigen! Like, <laughs> like, oh, there's those awkward moments where you don't even know what the hell is happening. Uh, yeah, and so it's like it's out, dude. It's outselling One, one Piece. It's outselling like Shepard Dragon Ball, and the art just gets worse. Crack, no, so actually, it's it it done like the ma- the stack? fucking what's it like called? What does it stack or fuse, or is it an entirely new form? The uh, what's it called? <sighs> the Boruto manga actually the ma- the not the chapter but the volume sales do very bad actually. The anime is yeah, actually yeah. way more profitable. The anime is profitable as fuck. Like, we thought the anime, they would have probably cancelled it. But the anime makes so much money in Japan. Because people love it for some reason. The, he gets, he gets like, more ratings oh than Naruto and Bleach, I think. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's, 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 they, 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 they combined Pokemon and Boruto. It's amazing. <laughs> love. <laughs> um, so, wait. Uh, Cracks, so, is it from, from a stack? What does it do? So I basically, what what this new form? New form like nuclear fusion. Don't yeah. ask me how he knows what nuclear fusion is. True. How does Kurama know what nuclear fusion? It doesn't. Like, okay, how does Kanoki <laughs> know knows what atomic dismantling is? Okay, let's be honest out here. Let's not kid ourselves. They don't know they shit. Have com- they have computers and stuff. That doesn't doesn't correlate. Whatever. So, um, for someone who explain asked me to explain how this fusion, how this uh, form right. works. So basically, what they do is that they take Kurama's chakra, uh, and they take Naruto's chakra, be it normal chakra and six path chakra, Can all of it, and they fuse it together. <laughs> And uh, in in uh, in nuclear well, fusion, in Shepard, in uh, um, shown to be really when smart. you when you fuse things and they're so compact, I, I'm pretty sure they're compact or they they move very fast and they create basically energy and uh, they're very hot and all that kind of shit. So what it happens is basically it creates a lot of energy, but it also when uh, it consumes it, right? So what Naruto does here is like he literally consumes his and Kurama's chakra. No, he can't. He beat Goku. He have no chance. MLG and by fusing, tears. by fusing their chakra and like uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know how to explain. It's basically like the sun or like a nuke. It's like, that's how it works. So basically, he's like a walking nuke, um, and because of that, that he basically. Um, I don't even know how. I don't even know why it makes him stronger. I I guess because it's a fusion of their power instead of adding their power to each other. It's I guess it's it makes it more compact or whatever or more stronger. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me how he can die with like six pads. Like okay, so he it's his chakra, six pads chakra, and Karama's chakra. They all have hearing healing properties, right? Um, and then all, why is he throwing sage mode on this? <laughs> Because like, Sage Mod is it, versus, it, it, like, why would you have six, Sage Mod if you have six best Sage Mod? Dude, he needs everything. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get like on the nature G of the entire world. Like that's I'm sorry, that's where we're at. Like he's gonna get G in. What do you mean? You should be. Um. Okay. Crack. Can we get some food? Yeah. Let's get some food. Oh damn! It's nighttime. I don't like that. 
Right now, I'm just getting to make sure we so, have enough iron. Naruto so S Chakra and his six paths Chakra Kurama S Chakra as a nuclear village, fusion, basically. So we can have good slaves. Yes, all of those chakras make like kind of like a nuclear fusion. It's, it makes you like a chakra-based nuclear fusion. Mm -hmm.